the most successful song that I ever wrote, which is not Hello, It's Me, it's Bang the Drum All Day. Yeah. And I do not take credit for writing <laughs> that song because I dreamed it. Because I was in the middle of recording a record. The record was the ever-popular Tortured Artist Effect. And when I record, or at least when I did in those days, I would go to my place in Woodstock and isolate myself. And there would be no input, just whatever I was thinking musically. And when you get into that process where you're just like, your waking hours are spent writing and thinking about music, it seeps into your subconscious and then you start doing it in your sleep as well. But the thing is, it's not a song I ever would have written consciously. You know, it's just so simple and, you know, plainly inane <laughs> that, you know, normally I would have just never have gone there. I think I can't make a song with just three chords. <laughs> About know, banging a drum all day? What's like the point? That? And I'm not a drummer, really, you know, but I don't know. Somehow that song, fully realized, popped into my head while I was asleep. Fortunately, I was near my studio, so as soon as I gathered myself, I went down and, and documented what I could remember of the song and then filled in the rest of it somehow. But Are, are you surprised by the afterlife that it's had? It's like, it's a sports anthem. It's like football games and hockey games. Well, and, that was a strange thing that people would think that. It, it first became a drive time hit. Now, if DJs were playing it every Friday, I think mostly because of the line of, uh, you know, and I bang on a drum like it was a boss's head, you know, because it's Friday drive time, yeah. you know. And this is what I wish I had done all week. Yeah, exactly. You know, I did that on Monday. But uh, then it became a sports anthem. Uh, actually, not a football sports anthem. First, it was a hockey anthem. It started being played at hockey games and uh, then at football games. I mentioned anywhere they had an organ. Oh, you know, yeah. it would have worked, that's, you know, <laughs> anywhere where the background music is being played by a cheesy organ, you know, that song works. And then, you know, people certainly became the, you know, the, the touchdown song for the Packers. And then for, for the, when they were still in St. Louis, the Rams uh, became really big. And then the big payoff came when it became the Carnival Cruise Lines theme song. Oh, that's big money. That was big money. And then they started sinking all those boats and figured they had to change their image. And then, you know. Well, that was the end of that, <laughs> that was the end of that gravy train there. 